G'day mate, welcome to Creeper World 4 with me, Jenny. Now, Creeper World. Creeper World is a, a unique style of game, is probably the best way of putting it. I would mix it halfway between a tower defense and an RTS game. And I've got to say, this is like, this is number four. Normally as games progress and we get a, a one, a two, a three, the quality of the game just goes downhill and downhill. Creeper World 4, I have to say, is definitely the exception to the rule. It's done by one man dev, and I do need to thank, unfortunately I don't know the first name of the dev, but I, I need to thank Knucklecracker for actually providing me with a early press key. I've actually been playing this for, let's not admit how many hours I've played this one already. It's probably well over 12 already. Anyway, um... Creeper World, like I said, it's 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 a pretty unique sort of game. And for those of you who have played number three, which I know a lot of you probably have, this is the fourth version. A couple of big changes. One, we've gone from a 2D game to a full 3D game. This is 100% 3D. You can rotate the camera in any way, shape, or form. On top of that, um, the fluid dynamics, because the creep is a fluid that is trying to take over the whole universe is much more fluid like um i need to cover a couple of things because look this is a 25 dollars game and it's not often i recommend a game this early out the gate but i will honestly recommend this one um there is a steam link down below along with a uh gog link as well i really really recommend this one because for 25 dollars you get a significant amount of playtime for your 25 dollars. so we have the the far side expedition which as you can see i've played it certain amount through already i have no idea what I, what happens when i get to the center i'm willing to bet we actually open up yep we open up more parts of the campaign um yeah going from previous experience i'm gonna guess there's a certain amount of campaigns that we're gonna unlock as we keep going uh, on top of that we have the daily missions and yes this is one of those games that has a daily mission i've already played a couple of these these are interesting a different daily challenge on top of that we have the the dev is quite active okay he has his own youtube channel i've actually been watching the videos uh that he's been putting up of the development and some of the test maps he's made to test out new features and these are all the test maps that didn't make it into the final cut normally because he changed something fundamentally and the balance would have been way off but you know these are still here because time and effort went into them and maybe you want to play them with the balance you know Thoroughly thrown in, uh, thrown in, not your favor. Uh, on top of that, we have the Mark V, which is a a random generator. So you can actually make random maps, which is something I do not think was included in Creeper World 3. I think Creeper World 3, every map was handmade. Yes, you can hand make your own maps in this one. There is a full mission editor. On top of that... There is also an online map database. And yeah, um, I went here yesterday. Yesterday, there was, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. There was probably 20 maps, 20 maps total. I've come back here, not even 24 hours later, and there's now two pages worth of maps. So yes, in fact, I actually played this one. Speaking of that one, uh, I, I only literally just noticed this feature. You can go to recordings and we can, you guys can't see this, but I should be able to open up that particular file. And I can actually watch a replay of me playing the Knuckle Cracker map. And you know, this is the creep, this is me, I'm trying to expand, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is set to like four times normal speed or two times, normal, three times normal speed, whatever the speed happens to be. Um, and you can see that I, I, I slowly won the map. That's the other thing with this game. Each map is five minutes to about 30 minutes. So if you have like a little bit of time to play, but not a lot of time to play and you really want to, you know, just get a quick game banged out. This is again, a really, really good game for you in saying that I did sort of sit down yesterday and play for five hours straight. So what I want to do is I actually want to, I want to do not that mission. Go away. Uh, I want to do this mission because this mission sort of explains a lot about the game and at the same time also shows you some of the new things that the dev has added because like I said, the game is very, very different. Now, there is a demo. Actually, I should mention that. There is a demo on Steam if you want to grab the demo. I'd highly recommend grabbing the demo first by all means, but it is currently brand new out. Therefore, there's a, you know, sale on Steam for, for 
you know, whilst the game's brand new out. Anyway, so, a couple of things. We get a quick storyline, okay? Um, you're, you've, you've escaped Mars. You're trying to get back to Mars in your magical lab that teleports and teleports through time occasionally and the computer is definitely bought so it has some funny things uh so yeah my system software has been exper experiencing faults i have marked the areas of my system memory that may be failing this should increase my reli reliability arrived at a new destination that does not appear to be mars system protocols indicate we should recap recap and jump again to mars um so we close that and this is our map now this is different from anything you've probably seen in Creeper World 1, 2, or 3. We've got a couple of new things. So, first off, we have, and I do love, I, I love how the dev, and this is one of those just, those things that I really, really like that most other devs do, don't do. They've kept the game simple. So, we have a couple of new resources. We have this one, which I can't even click on. It's called uh, Blueite because it's blue. Uh, we have a blue eye ore, which we can dig up automatically. We have green, uh, green nah, i.e. this is the blue one, seen over here. This is the green one, seen over here. And eventually we'll get to red da, which is red, obviously. Okay, so a uh, couple of important things about this map. Uh, we can see there is a whole pile of creep here. This liquid stuff here is what we refer to as creep. It's one job in life is to spread over the whole map. And given enough chance, it will spread over the whole map. Uh, another couple of things that the dev has added. First off, we have some shields. Shields are really good at holding back creep. Uh, the other thing the dev has added is these special like telegraph wires come all the way through to this thing here, which is a bar emitter, which basically absorbs creep and then pops up and makes a giant tidal wave, which then sweeps across the map. You can imagine how this is gonna go for us. So we need to start off a base. Uh, we have our lab, like I said, our magical lab. This is the home of all our creation and everything else that we need to dump somewhere. At the same time, we have these little towers. These little towers basically create uh, free energy. So this generation use and store, uh, they create free energy from the ground. So the more little green tiles they have, the better the energy is. Uh, we're going to plot these things basically everywhere. Uh, and there is a good old click and drag feature to drag them out in long rows to get maximum coverage. Yeah, I didn't think I can get a click and drag out of that one. Uh, there, 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 there. Uh, we want to cover this. On top of that, we have miners. Miners are going to mine the resources and get us some energy because we can take the blue white, the blue ore, the blue, blue, whatever stuff it's called, and turn it into either energy or blue, blue white, blue, it's called blue something. Uh, and we can use that to do a couple of things. One, we can make anti-creeper. Anti-creeper is a magical substance that stops creeper dead in its tracks. Uh, the other thing these guys can do is make energy. Energy is the thing that makes the world work. Uh, it's also the thing that lets us build stuff. And it's also what powers our weapons. Can I... Yeah, uh, space. Uh, cancel. Come on. Uh, no. Destroy miner we want to put a miner in <sighs> straight setting up to start with is very important you want to get everything stung away as cleanly as you can okay uh we're gonna need a tower we're going to of course i can't click and drag again because there's gaps in the terrain uh this is going to absolutely kill our power to start with. But hopefully, once we get enough of this built, we should have enough energy to fight off, like I said, the giant tidal wave that's going to come and try to engulf our base. Uh, can we get one there, one there, one there? I was off by a tile and that missed. There we go, there we go. Getting a little bit sloppy towards the end. It's fine. Uh, 
Now, the only thing I don't know, which I've only just thought about it now and consequently I haven't researched it, is I do not know if the game has multiplayer. I highly doubt it because none of the previous games had multiplayer, but, you know, you never know. Anyway, so we're going to unpause the game uh, with a button up there, and it looks like I need to turn down the sound just slightly. Uh, so, prior notification, technology constraints with creeper manipulation identifier, operation ex uh, should, should exercise caution, creeper flow patterns not within normal parameters, uh, i.e. this is not normal, this is the first time we're actually going to see it, uh, and our job is to nullify these creepers, so we can have a certain weapon over here, a nullifier, which as you can see has the giantest range in the world, and that can take out this thing. So basically, we need to kill off this liquid as quickly as possible. Uh, and then try and get ourselves all the way over here. Now, there are a couple of things. They have these new totems that we haven't covered. We have this thing here, which makes any creeper, which I've sort of covered. And Okay. Uh, opportunities all around the totems around this world require lifting. Fortune is provided a green uh, crystals. All that is necessary to enable green armor refinery done. Build your green armor refinery near the green crystals to harvest them. Factory convert them into lithic. So we do have a... Uh, no. A refinery. Fr refinery is a new thing as well. Uh, can we hit the pause button, please? So refinery is a new thing as well. It has an area of effect, which means it will go harvest any, um, any greener found within its area. Uh, and as you can see, the green eye crystal has its little own area of effect. It'll dump out, uh, it'll dump out greener inside that area. So, uh, we have the energy barriers we're talking about. This looks like an energy source. Wonder what a nullify would do to it. Yes. And we have this. This is what I want to show. So I want to unpause and then hopefully, oh yes. Yes, look, this is what I'm talking about. Full 3D game. And like I said, it is, it's a fluid. It's a fluid that's going to try and take over the whole map. And I'm waiting for that to charge this again. Because when it does, oh, there we go. And then dumps another tidal wave, which is going to overtake this uh, force field very, very quickly. So back to our mission at hand, we are trying to build out materials we can see we're currently producing five energy and we're using five energy and we have a deficit of 40 because i'm trying to build everything at once but that's perfectly fine because if we get everything up and running quickly enough we can actually put in some defenses uh as for our tidal wave friend uh it started working its way up the force field already uh, and the force field force field's just going to stop it dead in its tracks until the force field, as you can see, is dropping very, very far too quickly. We have no defenses. Bad things are going to happen. Uh, we do have... You're not running yet because I haven't swapped any of these guys over. They can harvest energy or blue white. Obviously, we want energy to start with because we're still running a massive deficit till all this stuff is built. Uh, and I also need a factory. You can go right there. Which is going to... Oh, no. Our deficit's gone down. We're almost reached equilibrium. We're still building lots and lots of things. And we now have some flat energy stores. On top of that, let's hit the pause button again. I wish I really... Oh, uh, our shields went down. Uh, can we do... Yeah. Let's just... Oh. Can I drop the camera here for just a second? No. Nope. Okay, unpause. Yeah. It went through the force field. So, bad things are on their way and happening. Uh, we have positive energy flow. We need to start putting in some weapons. So, weapons, it's still early game. We still get, we get so much more tech later on. But early, early game, we have very few options. One of the options we do have is is cannons and mortars so cannons are very good at stopping uh stopping the flow of creep uh they're not so good at pushing the creep back but they're good at sort of like creating a point where it doesn't move anymore uh mortars on the other hand are very very good have a very very large air effect attack uh which is good for pushing back creeper but not so good at uh 
holding a line. So we're going to build a bunch of each of those. These guys are all harvesting. We're leaving all of them on energy because we need this. Can we build this stuff, please? Oh, helps if you unpause the game. Ha 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 ha! And straight away, our energy goes into massive deficit. Yeah. Because we're building a whole bunch of stuff. Now, energy is your your like your like number one uh, thing that you make. Uh, it is required for... Uh, both building things along with ammo for all your guns to keep them up and running and firing and keeping the creeper at bay. Um, I hope this is all making sense. We're sort of going through it in a hurry. And as you can see, the giant tidal wave of creep is... Uh, getting worse. Getting worse. Uh, that force field is definitely down and it is... As you can see, it's... It might look a little bit like a 2D map, but you can think of like these edges as like a glass edge. So as we can see, the creeper has hit the edge. It's then funneling up along this, ooh, along this edge and it's coming straight in towards our guns and bad things are about to happen unless I have enough defenses. Uh, did I build a refinery? No, let's get a refinery up and running because we definitely have positive resources. At the same time, can we get a pylon? Uh, well, actually, I have a pile on here, and 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 a pile on here. So let's just explain the pylons really, really quickly. Uh, we have these little energy towers. Little energy towers do two things. One, they give us positive power. So every single green dot we have is a little bit more power in our bank tiny itty 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 bit um as you can see like if i put this guy over here he's only gonna make 13 so you know not massive amounts if i put it out here it'd make a hundred and something because every tile almost every tile is free the pylons pylons allow for energy to be moved at much higher speeds, so they can go through the towers slowly uh through a pylon they move at much higher speeds, and they also have a larger range so as you can see this pylon is hooking up to this pylon uh, if it was hooked to a tower, it would go like half the range. Half the range, roughly. Uh, so yeah, uh, with that said, this guy did make some anti-creeper. Uh, can we just zoom in real quick? So we can see... Oh, oh, we're not meant to zoom in this much. Really not meant to zoom in this much. So, and I don't have a mouse point at the same time. This is bad. Okay, so we can see we have the purple... Oh, that broke. Okay, let's try this again. We have the purple creep and... You can sort of see it, like right here, there's some white creep as well. The white white creep is anti-creeper. Anti-creeper is exactly as, as advertised. It inhibits this stuff. Uh, but yeah, we can see um, there is a giant tidal wave right there. And our little base with our little tiny shield that will stop it until it overtakes our shield um and creeper is very very viscous so it's very slow to move uh but yeah that's that's not a good sign uh that is really not a good sign at all uh it's still not a good sign yeah so us firing borders in at the bottom and guns is hopefully hopefully keeping it at bay i can't really tell no it's still moving forward slowly it's sort of waving up and it looks like it's back flowing finally yeah it's definitely falling but there's plenty of creep behind that so we need to keep expanding so what i want to do is we have these little side islands and if i put a single pile on there we can have just a little bit of room to put in some guns and what i really want to do is i want to put in two guns right here at the side because what's happening is this creep is flowing through these wires over here to then getting turned into these tidal waves which the, uh, there's another one it's not it's not a big tidal wave but you know it's turned into this mass at this end uh tsunamis tsunamis yes so i want to try and start taking out this stuff and as you can see he's trying his absolute hardest shooting point blank and is doing some sort of damage i probably should have put a mortar in rather than a gun you know what we're gonna bring our gun back there i'm gonna put a mortar there instead now this is how it hang on we need to turn that sound down even further 
This is how Creeper World is different to any tower defense like game. You can actually pick up your towers and fly them across the map to wherever you want to be. So you normally end up deploying all your towers back at base and then flying them into the front lines. Oh, that seems like a... No, fire this way. Yeah, fire this way. Yeah, look at the hole it put in that. No, fire this way. Do as you're told. Do as you're told. Don't fire that way. Fire this thing. Uh, at the same time, we can see little bits of ammo are being moved along these bars over this guy. You are not listening and doing as you're told. You can come back. You can go there instead. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to move our guns forward. So we're going to use... Actually, we're going to use a row of mortars, I think. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of greener. I eat the green ones. And we don't have any blue eyed. Because the blue light is technically going to this machine and it is still making anti creeper, which is nullifying the creeper that is all over the top of it. Okay, but we're going to make a whole bunch of guns and let's bring in the towers. Uh, I should mention there is a way to press select. Sorry. You can select the item or the item you want to build and then press tab as a quick menu item to select that item and then build it. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's my, my, my tab button or this particular game or maybe it's Windows trying to do Windows things. I can't get tab to work all the time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't and I'm not sure what the cause was. But we're going to build all these. We're going to fly them in. And we're going to park them. We need more of them. Weapons! Mortars! Whole nother row, please. Yes! As you can see, lots of firepower is definitely moving the lines back. Uh, on top of that, we can see, well, this cube's already empty because Gun did a wonderful job. And this one had a bit of time with mortars and everything else, so it sort of did a horrible job. But it also means we can now start expanding. Uh... One there, and one there, and one there, one there, one there. Pick up our gun, I'm going to fly it to here. At the same time, we do have mission objectives, nullify enemies. It's an optional objective. We're definitely going to put a nullifier right there. Now, we can also build guns directly on the front line, which is obviously what we're going to do in this case. Uh, this is defended. The creeper can't get to us. Uh, so we're going to put a whole bunch of guns along that front. Same time, I'm going to do the exact same here. I'm going to put a whole bunch of mortars right here. Uh, towers. Put a tower there. Tower there. Tower there. Tower there. Tower there. And we're going to take this gun and I'm going to fly it over here. It probably... No, everything's built already. Uh, depending... You can actually fly guns and different things out, and even though they don't have the ability to get power, they carry a certain amount of ammo with them. So they can actually fly out and park somewhere and fire off, you know, four or five shots before they actually run out of power. Uh, okay. We're going to pull you out there. Uh, we can see we got a little bubble of anti-creeper, which is helping us push back the creeper. Uh, we're going to bring out these mortars. We're going to park them. Yeah, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to push forward. Uh, I'm going to put that one there. That one there. Uh, can I get one? Oh, that's sort of in the creeper, but that's okay. It's fine. Uh, now, these are going to be so far forward, they're not going to have any towers. So, we need to definitely get towers up and running in a hurry. Uh... Right, that's done some clearing. That's done some clearing. We're definitely at the point where I can drop a gun there. Now, it's going to be in the creeper. It's going to take some damage. The idea is hopefully he can land. Anytime it's yellow, it's in creeper. Land, and he's going to take some damage, but he's going to start shooting. And providing he can clear himself some space, which he's done, he'll also get automatically repaired. So... 
Yeah, oh god, swapping that view back is weird. Alright, so we have a whole pile of anti creeper. We are definitely producing anti creeper. We can see this white, white stuff, white stuff on the map is definitely pushing the creeper back. At the same time, this magic thing is still producing more of that stuff and it is slowly growing. It's these are like liquids. They they fill in any valley. So this stuff will flow back eventually and fill in back to our shields and then try and flow forward again, so on and so forth. We're going to hook in this. Now, this is a new thing. This is a totem, which needs lifting, which is the green stuff, which comes from the green R. And as you can see, after this powers up, and this is one of those really cool things that the game has added. So after it finishes powering up, boom it puts up a shield and the shield automatically or automatically repels the creep so we can see that it's around the edges it's actually climbing up the back wall of the shield and as you can see the ground is clearing off which automatically means that i've gained some more area so what we're going to do is because i'm a bit lazy i'm just going to grab all the guns i'm going to drop them there and we'll definitely build out our pillars and it's not perfect. You can see the creep is somewhat coming in at the edges because it's a little bit high around the shields. If you're not careful, it will actually overwhelm your shields without an issue. Uh, we're going to grab a whole bunch of mortars and I'm going to dump them there. And... Nope, 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 nope. Grab those mortars. Dump them here out the front. Uh, grab those mortars. And as you can see, this is where we move into our, our, our RTS elements. So we can start grabbing little groups of, of units and moving them forward. Uh, space to cancel. Moving them forward in little groups and getting more area, more territory, more combat space and pushing the creep back even further. Uh, I didn't put a gun on the right hand side. I probably should have. Uh, gun, 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 go land there. Yeah, that's dangerous, but that's fine. It's fine, you'll get there. All right, I'm gonna grab another pile of these. We're gonna again move them forward. I'm pretty confident that'll be safe by the time you guys get there. Uh, if not, you might take a little bit of damage, but you know, if you shoot lots of things, you'll probably be out of trouble fairly quickly. Uh, same time, let's grab you guys. This is definitely going to push back far enough. We'll put you guys there. And we'll grab you, little group. Push you into this valley. Valley is bad. It's not good to shoot uphill. Oh. Well, that one didn't have power. So it didn't get repaired. So he got lost. Uh, oh, we didn't put in a nullifier here to get rid of that one. Uh, not that they're doing anything currently, but, you know, if you can kill off an enemy, you probably should. Alright, so yeah, being in a valley, bad idea. Bad idea. Creep, being in liquid, likes to flow downhill. Uh, much harder to fight uphill than it is to fight downhill. On top of that, all the terrain is dynamic. Um, or oh, dynamic is probably the wrong word. Uh, all the... All the things you would assume. So you'd assume you get a, uh... A combat bonus from being uh, on high ground. You definitely do. At the same time, I need to look at these pylons. Can we dump a pile on there, and a pile on there, and a pile on there? Yes, I do do a little bit of a spaghetti base. Just, you know, as you would expect, I guess. Uh, we just throw stuff together. Now, the other thing this game dove de definitely does have is it keeps track of every single person that's played and the time that they scored, you know, much like your old arcade games. Uh, so you can definitely, when you're finished, see what the winning time was for this particular map. Um, most of them are around about the 15 to 20 minutes. But there is lots of maps that you look at and it's like, holy crap, how did you finish this whole map in five minutes or less? Uh, and there's many, uh, what the moments. Many, many, many. All right. Our actual mission objectives are activate the totems. So that one, that one, that one. At the same time, there is a info cache that we need to collect. Info caches generally progress the storyline uh, or give you new tech. So, you know, bombers, 
uh, aircraft. Uh, I remember from the previous game there was like a a special weapon that was like a, a howitzer. Uh, did massive damage. Okay, I need to push forward on this side. We're fighting our way up a hill. I'm just going to accept you guys are going to go out there and some of you are definitely going to get damaged. But once we clear out this little pile that's sitting on the edge, we should be fine. Uh, can I get you guys to move up to there? Uh, tower, tower, tower. As you can see, as we're clearing out the creeper, the shields are slowly repowering up. Uh, so they're going red, they'll eventually go blue. Let's take those guys. Uh, let's take you guys. All the creepers basically gone at this point. It's only a little bit sitting in the valleys left. Uh, so I'm just throwing units down. No, no link back into the main network, no power, no nothing. We're just going to move them out. They're going to launch off whatever weapons they have on them. And then probably run out of ammo. Uh, okay, so towers. Uh, there, 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 there. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. Uh, that should be enough to power up everything. Uh... Put that to there, that to there. Okay, so uh, executable module found. Two of 42 valid checksums. 40 of 42 missing or corrupted. That's normally when you delete the file and download it again. But in this case, of course we should execute it. Uh, additional modules loaded. Journey begun just. Stay path all become clear. Praise be the founders. Okay, awesome, just what I need. Praise be the founders. Okay. And we'll throw that stuff down. None of this is probably going to get built. But, you know, I, I, I like covering the map and making it all as green as possible. Uh, okay, so these are being built. If I build a pylon there, to there, to there, to there, to there. These will get powered up by pylons, which will be more efficient. Although, they're already powered up before the pylons got built. Last one. Done and dusted. Uh, I missed it. I missed it. They, they shoot into the sky and things happen. Anyway, with all that said, this is where we're going to end this particular episode or, or this particular quick look at uh, Creeper World 4. Like I said, it's a game I can definitely recommend. Um, I need you guys down in the comments, your thoughts, your suggestions. Do you want to see more Creeper World? Sh should we take a stab at M? Every, every map, every other map. Um, I, I'd like to do them like this where we just blitz through it as quickly as possible. I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to cut them up because, I don't know, some of them are really, really interesting and and have a bit of storyline in them. Other ones are, uh, I wouldn't say hard, but monotonous. Um, uh, monotonous is probably the wrong word still. Um, less entertaining to be viewed rather than be played. Um, I think that's probably the best way I can answer it. Anyway, either way, look, this is Creeper World 4. Um, as you can see, oh, if I can get the mouse controls, uh, the, the, the camera controls right, uh, completely 3D now, major improvements. I didn't even cover down the bottom left-hand corner. We now have like a total for how much creepers on the map, uh, any creeper coverage. I was speaking of that, that stuff spread all the way out. It's filled this valley. Yeah, it's doing a right job. And, and the thickness, uh, there is buttons here. There is lots of options and I cannot find, is that the depth down the bottom left hand corner? Yeah, I think that's the depth in the bottom left hand corner. So it's like one deep, six deep, so on and so forth. There's also a button to make. I, I've been watching the dev, okay? I've been watching the dev play and there are so many options for just how the game displays data to you. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so that's obviously the depth. That's the depth of the tiles, the yellow on the bottom right, hand, uh, bottom left hand corner. I want to make this bigger, but we'll work out how to do that between episodes. Either way, this is oh visibility. That's probably it. Uh, nope. Flat nanny creeper. Hey, uh, transparent creep. 
So it turns it on and off. Oh, wow. The Anacoop has made it all the way out here. Uh, map indicator. I don't know what map indicator does. Uh, hover packs. No. Uh, hide creeper lines. Hide any creeper lines. It's making... Oh. That's doing a change. I can't really decide. Okay, it's just different lines for different heights. Uh, hide paths. No, hide. Oh, hide paths. Definitely. That makes it way clearer. Uh, hide expansion. Hide mesh. Hide shields. Hey! So if you want to flatten the whole game out, uh, I'm not going to do hide UI. And actually, I do know about this one. This F9 is the button to go back to the traditional 2D view. So this is how the game basically shipped with Creeper World 3. Um... Creeper World 3 was very much a 2D game. Don't get me wrong, it was a great game and still is a great game, but Creeper World 3, moving it to a full 3D environment where I can rotate the camera around and look up at, if I go into camera mode, look up at things at the sky because we do get missiles and other things in future, future episodes. Makes a hell of a difference. Anyway, I've rambled for far too long. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. As I said, down in the comments below, Two things, two things. Tell me, do you want more Creeper World? And the second thing is, tell me if you bought a copy. I'd love to know how many of you actually went out there and bought a copy. Even more importantly, bought a copy of my recommendation. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.